Well, let's check our homework first, and then we'll do, we'll see if we can remember our bingo teams and can finish our game. Okay. We are using our Y, our letter Y, to make the long E sound. Okay. So we see Y sounds like long E when it comes at the end of a word. So let's see if we can fill in the blanks here. Courage, can you do number one for us? Today is hot, sunny day. All right, today is a hot, sunny day. Good job. All right, number two, David. My baby sister is a lay. My baby sister is happy. All right, my baby sister is happy. Good job. All right, number three, Harry Kane. Wipe your muddy feet before you come in. All right, good job. Wipe your muddy feet before you come in. All right, number four, Sophia. Okay, so we have, do you want to hear a blank joke? Which word up here can describe a joke? Puppy, many, lady, tiny, or funny? Funny, I think funny. Okay, so can you read the sentence with the word funny in it? Do you want to hear a funny joke? Okay, good job, a funny joke. All right, say, Goku, can you do number five, please? Goku, what word fits best in number five? A blank in the store helped me find a gift for mom. Mm, uh, puppy in the store helped me find a gift for mom. And a puppy helped you find a gift for your mother? Yes. Does a puppy work at a store? I know. Who might work at a store? People. Okay, so do you see a word up here that just, that tells about a person? Tiny, lady. A lady. Okay, a lady in the store helped me find a gift for mom. Good job. All right, number six. Neymar, number six, please. Uh, how many children are in our class? Good job. How many children are in our class? Okay, Lisa, number seven. Mm. I always feel happy when I sing. Okay. I always feel happy when I sing. All right, so that I guess that means number two, my baby sister, instead of, well, she could be happy. You can also say tiny, but number two. Tiny or happy work. All right, and number eight. Say, Tom, are you there? What word can go in number eight? Can you read the sentence, please? Um, my tiny, um, my puppy likes to bark at the moon. All right, good job. My puppy likes to bark at the moon. Okay, does anyone have any questions about this homework? Is he right? Okay. All right, so let's talk about, let's look at the word penny. Okay, so in this picture, Aisha, how many pennies are we talking about here? Uh, one penny. Talking about one penny. Okay, and we hear the long E at the end of penny spelled with a Y. But what if we want to talk about more than one penny? How could we change the word penny to talk about more than one, Aisha? Uh, change is to uh, take the this E or I Y and change to I E I E S. Okay. Can you say our new word? Pennies. Okay. Good job. So when we want to talk about more than one. So when a word ends in a Y, we take away the Y and we replace it with I, E, S. Okay? Does everyone remember? Give me a thumbs up if you remember doing this before. 
changing our Y to I E S. All right. Mary Kane remembers, Aisha, Kang An. Who else remembers? Lisa remembers. Okay, good job. All right, so let's look at another word here pony. So pony ends in Y. So how, if we want to talk about more than one pony, what would our new word be? Pony. Jenna, how can we change the word pony to talk about more than one? Ponies. Maradona, how can we spell our new word ponies? Ponies. Can you spell it for us? P O N uh, I E S. Okay, good job. So our new word is ponies. We change, take the Y, sorry, take away the Y and add I E S to go from pony to ponies. Okay, what about the word kitty? So we know that kitty ends in Y. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at the word kitty. If I want to talk about more than one kitty cherry, yes. what would my new uh, word be? Kitty. Can you spell it for us? K-I-T-T-I-E-S. Uh, Good right, job. Kitties. So we take away the Y and we add I-E-S. Okay, right, so this can, we can talk about nouns, right? So singular nouns ending in Y. When we make them plural, we add I-E-S. And we can also talk about verbs. Okay, so if I have the verb, look at our word list here. Our first one is try. So I try my best on my homework. Okay, if I want to use, if I want to say, Angtom, say Angtom tries his best on his homework. I would need to take away the Y and add I E S to change my verb for a singular subject. Okay, so let's look. I'm going to read this word list, and this is going to be part of your homework. Okay, so. As I read, if there are any words that you have trouble with, then go ahead and circle after I finish reading. Okay, so I'm going to read first and think which words might I have trouble with, okay? Try, tries, cry, cries, fly, flies, penny, pennies, berry, Berries, puppy, puppies, pony, ponies, lady, ladies, duty, duties. I'm going to enable annotation and go ahead and circle or underline any words that you think are a bit tricky. Or you can type it into the chat. Okay, so just the last one then. All right, so let's work, look at our base verbal duty. And this changes to duties. Okay, so how many syllables? Is this Katie? Katie, so how many syllables do you hear in the word duties? Um, two. Two, what's our first syllable? Do. Do. And our second syllable? T. T's. Okay, so we can break it down into syllables to help us decode the word. So our first syllable, do, T's. Duties. Does that make sense, Katie? Yes. Yes? Okay. And uh, Kanga, let me hear you pronounce the word. Duties. Yep. So let's break it down. So repeat after me. Do. Do. T's. Duties. 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 Easy, right? Yes. So we can break oh, it down into syllables oh, and decode it that way. So a duty is like a job that you have to do, like a small job that you must do. Okay, so duties are many small jobs that you must do. Okay, so like a duty at home might be to clean your room, 
or maybe help mom and dad clean the kitchen, or maybe you help mom or dad with, make dinner. So those are small jobs that you do. Those are your duties. Okay, so we're gonna read a story now called Puppies. Okay, so I'm gonna read it just like we did yesterday. I'll read it out loud the first time, and then we'll go back and read it page by page. Okay, so pay attention to the words that have our Y changing to I E S. Okay, so follow along word by word as I read, please. Puppies by Stuart McNeil. Puppies are so cute. Just look at these happy little golden puppies. Mothers of puppies take care of them and help them grow. People may have puppies as pets. Jenny carries this tiny puppy. Which words might Jenny use when she tells about her puppy? Would she say it is sweet, nice, sleepy? To keep puppies well, people take them for checkups at the vet. This vet will check to see if this puppy has a thick coat and strong teeth. He will see if the puppy is growing and if it is happy. In cities, people find grassy places where puppies can play. This black puppy likes this grassy place. He can sniff at daisies growing in the grass. At the beach, people take puppies to play by the sea. This puppy is safe on his leash as he watches the waves. The wet mud feels so cold on his feet. What do puppies like? These kids think puppies like wagon rides. Nancy tries to pull this wagon. It carries two of her friends and three puppies. Sometimes puppies hide. This red box is a fine hiding place. Each fluffy puppy peeks out. What can these puppies see? They can see you. Puppies play a lot, but puppies need sleep. Sleep helps puppies grow. Puppies have soft, warm bodies. When it's nap time, these sweet puppies stay close to each other and take cozy naps. Yeah. All right, so let's go back and read page by page. All right, courage. Can you read our first page for us, please? Puppies. Puppies are so cute. Yes, look at the happy little golden puppies. Mother of puppies takes care of them and helps them grow. Okay, good job. Uh, and so, next page, please. People may have Jenny carry this tiny puppy. Which word may Jenny use when she tells about her puppy? What she say? She say it's sweet and sleepy. All right, good job. All right, so I'm going to enable annotation. I want everyone to circle or underline the words they see that have Y changed to I-E-S. Okay, so go ahead and underline or circle the words that you see with I-E-S ending. And if you can't draw, then type it into the chat. Okay, I don't want words that end in Y. I want words that end in I-E-S. Okay, I'm going to type out the words as I see them. All right, so we have puppies, carries. All right, is that it? Puppies and carries? Okay, we're going to make a list as we go along. Okay. All right, let's see. Next page. Katie, can you read page 43, please? Yes. Okay, go ahead. To keep puppies well, people take them for check up check up at the vet. This vet will check to see if this puppy has a thick coat and strong teeth. 
he will see if the puppy is growing and if it's happy. Yeah, good job. Jenna, are you there? Yes. Okay, can you read page 44 for us? Initiating people find grass place where, where puppies can play. This black puppy like it this grass says a place he can surface at Daisy growing in the grass. Okay, good job. So let's look at these words here. Jenna. What is this word here? Grassy. Grassy. Okay, good job. And this word? Day. Daisies. All right, we're talking about more than one. Daisies. Good job. All right, so I want everyone to go ahead and underline or circle words that you see that have Y changed to I E S. And we'll make it, we'll add to our list. All right, so we'll add to our list here. Okay, so we have puppies again, cities, and daisies. Okay, good job. Aisha, can you read our next page for us, please? 45? Yes. Okay, go ahead. At the beach, people take puppies to play by the sea. This puppy is set on his list as he watches the world. The what bird feel so cold on his feet. Okay, good job. And let's look at this word here. What is this word? Uh, sound it out if you need help. What's our first sound? Wha. Okay. And our middle sound? Ah. And now we have A and magic E. So what's that sound? A. A, okay. And what about our, our third sound here? The. Okay. And our last sound? Woof. Make sure it's long A. Woof. A v waves. 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 Okay. All right. Good job. And page forty-six. Tom, can you read forty-six for us? Um. Yep. Okay. Um. What do puppy like? Yes, keep keep puppy like wagon right. Nancy tried for this wagon. It carried two of her friends and three puppies. Okay, good job, Tom. And let's go ahead and circle and underline words we see with Y changed to I-E-S. Okay, I see Katie and Harry Kane and Kangan. Okay, so let's add to our list. Okay, we have puppies again, tries, Carries and puppies. Okay. All right. We're going to our next page. Say, Neymar, can you read page 47? Puppies play a lot. Oh, 47. Puppies need sleep. Sleep help puppy grow. Puppies have so warm body. When it's nap, this week puppies stay close to get to each other and take cozy snack. Okay, thank you, Neymar. So it's page 48. Who can read page 47 for us? Cherry, can you read page 47 now? Sometimes puppies hide this red box. It's a fun find the hiding place. Each fluffy puppy pick out what can this puppy see that can see you. Okay, good job. All right, should we play a bingo game again? Yeah. So this time I'm going to, it's going to be similar to yesterday. I'm going to give you a word that ends in Y. Okay, our long E, that sounds like Y. You 
you need to say the word. You need to change the Y and add IES. Okay. For example, if I say the word have, uh, sorry, if I say the word try, you would say tries and spell tries for me. Okay. So let's go start with the back first. Okay, Katie, choose a square. You're yes. gonna be team blue. Um, I choose number seven. Seven. Okay. Your word is cry. Cry. Um, change it back to C mm -hmm. R E. No. Uh, no E. I. E S. Okay. So cry would change to cries. Good job, Katie. Good. Aisha, you are team red. Are you ready? Choose a square. Uh, one. I uh, know. No, a no, uh, nine. Nine. Okay. Your word is fly. The bird. Oh, sorry, the birds fly. Flies. Okay. Can you spell for me, please? F L E I know I I no no E S. Good. Good job. Flies. All right, Tom, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, you're team blue, so choose a square. 14. 14? All right. Your word is penny. P E N N E P E P E N N E Y. Okay, so we want to change it no, to. No, no, no. No. P-E-N-N-Y. We want to change it to plural, to have an S at the end. So we changed cry to cries, fly to flies. What can we okay. change penny to? Uh, uh, I-E. I-E. What's last, Tom? S. S, thank you. So penny changes to pennies. Good, good job. All right. Uh... Okay, right, Jenna, are you there? Yes. Okay, you are team red. Choose a square. Far. Okay. Your word is fairy. Fairy. F. Listen, okay, so listen to this one. The fairy is red and juicy. Fairy. How can we talk about more than one fairy? What letter makes the B sound? B. B. Okay, what's next? O. E. R. R. Okay, what's next? R. R. I. I. O. E. S. S. Okay, good job. Berry changes to berries. Okay. Uh, Harry Kane, you are team blue. Choose a square. Uh, cries. Nope. That's not uh, what we're doing. It's already been taken. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Your word is puppy. P U P P I E S. Okay, good job. All right, Lily, you are team red. Choose a square. Um. Two. Two. Okay. Your word is pony. Pony? Mm -hmm. P O N Y. Oh, we want it to have an S at the end. Oh, I E S. Okay. All right. Um, Lisa, you are team blue. Choose a square. Mm. Fifteen. Okay, your word is lady. Lady. L. Lady. Mm -hmm. L a g i e e s. Yes. Okay. Good job, ladies. Um. Okay, Neymar. Are you ready? 
You are team red. Choose a square. Number three. Number three. Okay. Your word is duty. A duty is a small job. D. 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 Do T. T. I. E. S. Okay, good job. Duties. Okay. And thumb, your team blue. Choose a square. 23. 23? Okay, your word is candy. C -N -N -D -Y. I want it to have an S at the end, please. Uh, I E S. Okay, good job, candies. All right, David, you are team red. Choose a square. 17. 17? Okay, yeah. your word is Mary. Huh? Actually, sorry, yeah. let's do fry. 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 Mm -hmm. I have one French fry. F R I E S. Good job. Fry changes to fries. Uh, 